Well, hello there, chimps and chimpettes. This time I'm doing a little uh, video without any uh, further editing afterwards. Just want to show you a little bit of World of Warcraft you can do in game. Especially this time, the transmogrification options. Transmogrification, a great English word, means that I can change my actual optics of how my character looks with a little something. There is a lot of stuff. There is the appearances section. It's where I have stored all the optics, all the skins of items I have found at some time. For example, today I pushed the wrong button. No, today I found the so-called Runes Warden Skyf. It's a hood with some horns on it. I don't have the actual item anymore in my inventory. I sold it. But I got the skin of it, the, the optic of it, and I can if I want to use it in any set by using my helmet I have and transmogrify it. In this case the helmet I wear it looks like this is transmogrified to the so called hidden helmet so that my character here she is doesn't appear to wear any helmet even though she does. So with this little trick you can just check out okay what do I want to look like do I want to look like I don't know uh, a fool who doesn't see anything no I have a few ideas about this one it's called well, I, I call it the optics shining lights it's male armor of course it's a hunter you can only transmog the same armor class so I cannot by any means have my character wear either leather, cloth or late armor. The only thing I can transmog is male armor. Like this. So this was one I was going for if I were to play Kyrian. Um lots of gold, lots of blue magic y stuff. I had uh, I have this one saved. Uh, I found the mask of a transmog and just thought, okay, what goes with the mask? Uh, obviously, uh, some kind of um, dress, and I was gonna use this toy or prop with it because why not? The other one I have um, is fell fallen, so it's basically. A draenei that has fallen for the fell that is using the fell uh, fell is kind of energy in the game. It's it's lower. Uh, it's it's one of the big uh, factions. Is not the right word, but uh, one of the bigger, especially enemies you have in the game. So what can I do? As you can see, I have. And there's 28 pages of uh, different helmets. Each has 1, 2, 3, 6, 18 uh, helmet slots. So I have already a lot of stuff gathered. And this is the outgrade if the things where I don't have it. And as you can see, it's just um, if I have other, I see where it is dropped. So this is basically dropped in uh, from the Hungering Destroyer in Castle Nefria on Mystic difficulty. And if I say, I uh, want to look into doing uh, some voodoo stuff. I can say, okay, where is it? Look, it's a world drop, so probably anywhere in the world. Just have to look around enough in the right expansion. Or if I say, okay, this looks fun, where do I get it? Um, from a vendor, so I can just Google where to buy it. Uh, there's a crown thingy. Cute. Crown of Infinite Prosperty. Oh, I can uh, do a... This looks a lot like chain armor. No, but seriously, I can just say, okay, what I want to look uh, like today, what do I want to wear. So, 
for example i can say okay i want to look i want to do the whole rune warden thing um this is called rune warden uh, this is all called rune warden let's go shirt wrist rune warden's wrist rune warden's gloves rune warden's buckle rune warden's leg guards and you see the whole set is coming together quite nicely works good in the set but i usually do i usually try to break sets i usually try to go uh, another way to uh, mix and match whatever i find especially uh, also with the style i did with uh, no with this with what my character lo uh, currently looks like i uh, mix matched uh, bought something from the uh, from the auction house uh, some things i found myself the shoulders the chest um the uh, belt i farmed from the auction house the um legs i got from the old player versus player sets uh, which i where i found the uh, coins quite recently and uh, quite a long time yeah but uh, i will probably uh, do another time and just uh, sit with you, click something together, what I like to see, what I like to try out. I had quite a few more uh, outfits, but I uh, deleted some of them because they were just not, they were just duplicates. I had, I don't have this right now, I don't have it right now. I have, I had a, a one for the Covenant, especially for the Nightfair Covenant. Um, and I modified it and had like, I think four different versions and uh, currently I'm using this one um, right now uh, you can see me having a cape for a change um, to show you again back yeah, this is the one you probably know you probably remember I had this um, backpack a long time in the latest videos you it's possible you saw me having this light bulb with the mods attached and there's I, I found this one this morning um, just differently colored mods um, I have two different kinds of branches one with green one with um, autumn like um, little branches um, I, so I used those three quite a long time I have I don't know, uh, there, there are 60, 60 pages of capes, uh, there's it's basically anything in here, whatever you want, uh, short, long, black, um, red, whatever. Yeah, there's also the stuff from the other covenants I don't have and I won't get quite so soon, unless I play another covenant, but then she can't use it, I have to use it on the other character, they are not, uh, currently you can't cross dress between, um, the covenants uh, today I got a quest where I got four different cape styles this one is this one I'm currently wearing because actually I, I like it. it looks good I mean yeah why why is this flowing around like here uh, being a 3d designer <laughs> myself um, I'm well aware of the clipping probabilities and um, yeah it's all the same cape it's the only thing they do is um, put another texture on it which uh, I don't want to diminish those textures look brilliant they are absolutely brilliant I, I don't want to know how long people have sat down and, and, and drawn these I'm pretty sure they are hand, hand drawn I, I don't know for sure but but this is uh, incredible work and uh, yeah so um, since this one is going over my um, tail right there um, this one is also doing the same even though it shouldn't have to because it's cut out because it's the same basic thing and they just uh, printed on, on the top yeah but I got um, this one I think this one I think I got today and these two I, I'm pretty sure I've been there before yeah they have these the short ones a lot of stuff yeah so right now I'm going with the cape. Also, the weapon. Right. I use the two-handed weapon so I can basically transmogify to any two-handed weapon there is. There are, well, I can of course look, other weapons, but if I really wanted to wear this, I would have to wear a one-handed weapon. 
So what can I do? I can do any access. Whoa. Some pretty weird access right here. This is two handed. Okay, whatever. Why ever you need two hands for this? This is obviously two handed because um, you would need four or five hands actually. Yeah, there's a lot of other interesting axes. Yikes, uh, this looks hot. And not the good kind of hot. Um, yeah, choppy. Two-handed swords, that is actually one thing I currently use because, I don't know, for some reason I like swords in the moment more. I have this one, I have this one, this is the one I'm currently using, I got it, I actually bought it from the auction house instead of farming it myself because I was like I'm not going to um, level up a, a, a fighter a warrior just to get some sword skills no I'm not doing this uh, you've seen this in one of my other skins um, hello there yeah um, the further you go back you get the older swords so if I get click down here just to go the Zeta, the swords the double-handed swords from the Classic World of Warcraft. Got some stuffs. I like stuffs a lot. Uh, great weapons. Great awesome weapons. I uh, actually have something like this at home and it's, it's just fun training and working with it. Yeah, this one I had to play a druid to level 45 actually to just get the skin. And now I'm not even using it. I, well, I did when I planned to play Kyrian, so. Yeah. Yeah, all kinds of stuff, so we had magic ones and, and just some uh, riot control stick. Wacky, wacky stuff. So pole arms, yes, I'm, I'm, I'm loving the, with those. Um, this was actually one of my go-tos for the Kirin as well. Uh, this is uh, the uh, night face stuff. Um, this is the venture stuff and the... I don't think the, the last one, the, the Madrexian guys, uh, have actually uh, 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 polar arms, I'm not sure. Yeah, but um, lots and lots of polar arms. This is like how they looked in, 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 in Classic and yeah, you have all kinds of weird stuff in here. All kinds of cool stuff actually. So, bows, guns and shit. Uh, I'm a ranger, I can... Uh, I'm a hunter, I can use bows and stuff, and uh, really anything in between. Um, yeah. These are the new ones. This is how bows looked. Ooh, I gotta get this one. What, this one? Huh. I know what this one is. This is this is the uh, those are the ones from the raids and from the from the high tier stuff. Cool, looks, looks awesome. Uh, guns, you have guns of all. Don't ask me. All kinds of guns. You have sniper rifles. You have radar sniper rifles. You have um, grenade launchers. Fucking shot. No, it's a, it's a poaching gun. Uh, you have you have of course you have a blunderbuss and a shotgun. You have um, some legendary. Weird looking, it's called Titan Strike. What, whatever this is, it's, it's a assault rifle, maybe. Um, nifty, nifty, cutie gunny? I don't know. Um, shoot people with arcane stuff? Whatever. Crossbows? Yes, of course. Crossbows. Ooh, classic. Ooh, not so classic. Sinful Gladiator is repeating crossbow because, yeah, the spikes tell the message, right? So that's uh, how the uh, actual thing works, and um, some of these days I will just do an outfit, show you, maybe transmog it. See you around.